This is Twit. We welcome to the show Mr. Roy Pereira. He is the CEO of Zoom, the author of The Future of Work. Will AI and analytics be keys to killing time wasters and boosting productivity in the global workspace? Mr. Pereira, thank you very much for joining us on This Week in Enterprise Tech. Hey, thank you very much. Glad to be here. Now, uh, this, this book that you've written, The Future of Work, Will AI be, uh, and Analytics Be the Key to Killing Time Wasters, it, it points to something that I think we're seeing more and more in the enterprise today, and that is using machine learning, deep learning, to look at where you can improve efficiencies. Can you tell me a little bit about what your work found? Sure. So automation and AI, or machine learning, uh, as you mentioned, uh, are critical pieces to increasing productivity within the workforce. Uh, we found that as supporting staff is uh, removed from modern enterprises, uh, it's replaced with applications, applications that can help employees do their day-to-day -day jobs. Um, the problem is that instead of increasing productivity, the number of applications uh, reaching 20 actually starts to decrease pop, uh, productivity um, and leave employees quite unhappy with uh, uh, the way that they are able to not do their real work because they, they're spending so much time on all of these apps. Uh, and so with automation uh, backed by artificial intelligence with machine learning, we're able to increase that productivity again by automating a lot of their common tasks um, by integrating into all of these applications that they have to utilize. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that, that, that number, that 20. Is there something magical about that 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 uh, that number of applications? Is it okay at eighteen and at twenty two it's a disaster, or or how do you chart that? Uh, certainly not. Uh, the twenty is actually an average number of applications that most employees at, at knowledge based enterprises have to use, um, and they're given you know logins by their IT department uh, or by their HR department to to go and log in, and it, it almost seems like no one is really looking at the total amount. Uh, of time uh, required to log in and to do little things at all of these applications. Um, and then the other problem that actually happens is, um, much like we can only remember seven digits in a phone number, after a while you stop forget, uh, remembering where to go to do what, uh, because you have too many apps. Uh, and so it's, 20 is not the trigger, it's much less than that. Okay, so at what point would you say is, is the low end? When, when do employees start getting frustrating frustrated with having to jump from app to app to app to app. I mean, ideally, there'd be one. There'd be the, the portal, the app, the one that contains all of the work that they, they need to do, all of the data that they need to do that work. But of course, we're never there. But at what point do I start to say, I've got a problem? Uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to overload my workforce. Right. Uh, so it's when you're approaching around 10 or so, it's becoming harder for you to remember where to go. Um, and that singular interface that you actually brought up is, is really key because we are actually trying to get there. Um, we believe that chat is going to be that singular interface into your workday. Um, the problem today is that there's too many uh, back office applications again, uh, you know, from your Office 365 to your Salesforce and everything else. Um, chat has the ability, uh, because it's also a, a one interface, it's a natural interface, if it was able to interface with all of the applications, you would only have one. And again, you wouldn't need any extra training, you wouldn't need any extra login. Uh, and so that's, this is what we're seeing with our enter enterprise customers. Uh, the other bit about chat is that if you talk to anyone under 35, that's really all they want to do is actually be on chat, not uh, bring in another application uh, or even uh, go on a website. Um, so we believe that that's actually the next user interface of choice um, in the enterprise.